I wonder if it's a sin, you know, to be a, a Republican or supporter of the conservative party as an African American. I guess, you know, things was going on, suffering around as a gentleman, he was being teased or ridiculed for his political beliefs at a Cheesecake Factory. I didn't see the video, but people making videos about it. And I was doing my two cents in it. And I wanted to talk about this for a, a while. And I did my research and it's understandable why a lot of majority of African Americans are Democrats. I think it's been indoctrinated in this for a long time. And with Lyndon B. Johnson, after he was the he succeeded after I'm gonna say a, a president J JFK after he was assassinated when he was a lawyer. He served from 1963 to 1969, and he implemented. He understood it was a lot of things that's going on in the urban communities. The urban community is like, listen, you know, we would love to vote for you, but we get the Brown versus Board of Education. It's when you know integration came into play, and we want our voice heard in government, even though we know that it was a Republican decision to eliminate uh, the to eliminate slavery and to announce and promote the Emancipation Proclamation. And during his vigor, his time in office what Lyndon B. Johnson did he had the urban transportation you know he was given transportation and individuals uh, and he built a transit he actually signed the secondary elementary education act who authorized 1.1 billion dollars okay to the community and to all like the states and the grants of the elementary schools and uh, pay rates for teachers uh, he signed the social security voter rights act in 1965 and though those things were very prominent then and then those people had a seven percent increase of all their check benefits and this was really what i believe i guess they felt like it rejuvenated the black community in a way that's what's in our mindset and then of course we had different you know little groups we had a welfare feminist movement on um, the black women was like okay what about us you know the men are leaving or it's ability that we can still earn money and we don't have to just stay at home and be a housewife as much we can go out here and still continue to be independent and work for us and we don't have to have that other counterpart to be that financial assistance for us and yeah you know Lyndon B. Johnson gave all of that he had this mindset of or he want to implement a great society you can look this all up this was in the born in the 1960s and I used to always like just think about it, man. Just taking tests and just thinking about like you know growing up in a black community. Even though my parents, my dad was making like 150 thousand a year at the time, and you know we're still just a great supporter of the Democratic Party. Now I do, we do have some type of views that we like from the Republican, but I used to always think that if we're Christians, why do we support the Democratic Party? Majority of us, you know, in the black community, because they. Besides, you know, they giving us you know the programs they did over the years, but at the end of the day, man, you know they still don't abide with the biblical principles in a way like far as they do support homosexuality they do support um what is that um i guess eliminate like guns guns you know they don't really support our second amendment even though we fought in every single war the american revolutionary war 1765 to 1783 you know it, it's just little things i i, I think about you know and, and also support abortion as well and you know we, we have to consider that in effect you know why do we just so supportive of it man but it, it gives away it's too much power to the government it makes it feel like they're superior over us and you know as you are a republican they'd be like listen man if you don't got any money or you're not already settled or you're not even to start an incentive to start a business investing in the stock or do anything to better yourself and your community around you you know because we're not going to give you a handout and i feel like you know and doing that for prominent time of course you know before the war on drugs and uh you know our societies and the cities was in the desolate areas it was very destitute and um we wanted we wanted a handout we wanted like okay we, we can really trust this government he's giving us all these handouts he's giving us many jobs but at the same time, you know, we have to pay for that, of course, through taxes. But I feel like uh, it's a blind placebo effect, eliminating, you know, just households and um, just family members just getting along, you know, because uh, women feel like, you know, they're more independent than a man. They don't need them. And um, a lot of black men was um, uh, arrested for fallacious charges, man, due to the war on crime. And this is a lot of things, the war on poverty. And I feel like it was a really, it really just, just stripped away from a black man. And I think they was pretty much implementing too what the uh, Willie Lynch syndrome, the Willie Lynch letter, when he uh, advocated a letter to help out with the slaves, you know, to actually, you know, just encourage the slave owners like on how to properly 
enslaved them forever, mentally, spiritually, and destroyed them in front of their black families, man. And I feel like as black men, you know, it's it's really ridiculous that, you know, we, we had to keep going to endure this, but we got to carry the whole world on our shoulders every single day, man. And um, I, I truly believe that, but I feel like if we become more Republican and we the ones that really rejuvenize the economy our women's gonna fall into place because i don't think we need any type of incentive or permission or uh, reliance on our government to help us or assist us in our living and i think that's what we've been indoctrinating to and it's just been really just a bad example like you can teach a man how to fish you feed him a lifetime you feed a man a fish man you just feed him a day give a man a fish you feed him a day so that's just really it's gonna give us any lifetime skills i feel like me personally and um i don't think it's a sin to be a republican man, or or conservative man we have to really change our thinking on that and just me i'm just standing on my political views and it's just wrong it just really upsets me that you know <laughs> of a man of color who sides with the republican party who has been a republican who's been a part of the federalist government in the 1790s now we live into this now modern age everybody's a victim and it's not going to get us anywhere and you don't hear too many white people getting upset you know what i'm saying uh white people get upset with their white family members that's conservative i don't see it's some white people that's democrat i'm not going to lie but at the end of the day man i mean why is us that we want to you know just change and rejuvenize the economy uh have small tax breaks for the rich and um, wealthy so they continue to build for us and we continue to actually up there like we can achieve everything but i feel like everything starts in the mind is mentally if you don't believe that you're capable of a creating like a multi-million dollar business or you're just doing the bare minimum you're mediocre you're getting these mediocre jobs mediocre salaries then that's Democrat, you're gonna side with the Democratic Party, and I feel like as Black people, we're more than that. If we humble ourselves and exalt ourselves within our talents, then things are gonna turn around for us, barely, and we might change our thinking into being conservative. I know other people are gonna have different political views and different um, different ways. Everybody can't be a, a Republican or a conservative, which makes us different, but why is the mass majority of our races have to be democrat this is not a law that's my own thing, thing it is but i'm not gonna draw this too long just wanted to just put my little thoughts on that but i under, kind of understand you know on the both sides uh, even though the, the democratic party is the one of the oldest political parties in um in the nation okay you know and um it was really was dominant until the 1800s you know i believe that the founders of it was uh, andrew jackson and um james madison yeah. But it's your boy Young Lee Jr. here. This is my thoughts on you guys continue to subscribe and like, comment, and yeah, why is life you you know, Democrat, why is it sin to be a Republican if you're an African American male or female? I'm out, deuces.